Working in a group environment is actually very powerful because it's very supportive. Where you're going to get a lot of nuts and bolts how-to knowledge so you can take it home with you. You're going to get some things broken down in a little bit different way so you can help understand it a little bit differently. So it's this group feeling, but yet everyone's there working on their own stuff. So everyone is working through their issues, their conflicts. So you don't ever have to feel like I'm the only one sitting in the audience with an issue. It's like, no, everyone sitting in the audience has some sort of issue, some sort of conflict that they're working through, and that's perfectly fine. And when we get that, that energy, that collection of energy with everybody working on the same stuff, it's very powerful because it's a very supportive, it's a very nurturing environment. So once you come into the room, you can sit wherever you want. I don't force people to sit in the front row. If people want to sit in the back row, it's perfectly fine. They can really sit wherever they want to. They can sit with their people that they came with, with their partner. It's perfectly fine. And anytime I do an audience interaction, because I feel that audience interaction is very powerful, it's either done as a group where I'm asking the whole audience a question and you can you know, reply in any way you'd want to, or when I ask for a specific person, somebody will raise their hand. And then I'll pick that person because they're willing to share with me. I've found that if I pick somebody out and they're not willing to share, it just doesn't serve anybody. But when we get somebody that wants to share what they're going through and I can help work with that and help work them through that issue, it's very powerful not only for that person, it's so powerful for the audience.